prelude to men's futsal final between the UK and Australia. Player coach John Curran knew all about the strength of the opponent from down under. So the, the Australians have uh, two international players, uh, senior international cap players, and they have um, a couple of under 21s. So obviously keeping them as, um, you know, trying to nullify what they're going to do in an attacking sense. We probably spotted their weakness is defensive in the, in the final third, that we can exploit that. But they're very strong on the attack, so we need to nullify that and make sure we're covering and zoning up, not just going man for man. We skipped the first half, just so much. The Aussies took the lead after 11 minutes by John Bazell, before an own goal gave reason to cheer to the English supporters, just seven minutes later. The fan support in the Horst Korber Center, Premier League suspicious. The game hard, partially borderline, just British. Here, Jordan Mandel sees the red card. In the second half, a play on one goal, namely the one of the Englishman. So it came as it must, 2-1 to one in favour for Australia, and again it is John Bazell. But the rebalancing in the direct return. Charles Kessler represents the game back to the beginning, to all. And the young supporters from the UK know how to create atmosphere in the hall. The support from the stands seems to help the players. Here, the 2-3 by Alfie Brooks. The Aussies now take their goalie out of the box, but it should not be. Instead of balancing, the decision by Nicholas Landsberg, who hits into an empty net. Gold for Great Britain. We hung on, we counted, we knew our game plan and we've made the chances count. Better than any other day we've had a few chances and made them count. And then you see how well we defended at the end, we got the break away, killed the game, fucking buzzing. Okay. A goosebump final in Horst Korber Center that leaves you wanting more futsal.